Hi there Coachman owners, today in your 2018 Coachman Apex Travel Trailer, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Voyager's 2.0 backup camera system with monitor. This camera system has a 7 inch full color display and is designed to work with RVs and trailers that are pre-wired with the Voyager y Sight technology. There are 14 infrared LEDs on the camera to help out with nighttime vision and it has a durable metal construction to protect it against damage and it's also waterproof. Now this camera system does work pretty well but you need to keep in mind that this camera system is designed to get power on the camera back there from your clearance lights. So when you turn your tail lights on in your vehicle and it powers up those lights on your trailer back there that's also what's powering the camera. Some modern vehicles are using a pulse width modulated uh, signal on the tail light circuit to provide a dimmer light for your tail light so that way you have dimmer lights for tail and when the brake gets a full uh, full on time to give it a brighter light. What happens is by giving us that pulse width modulated signal it's a very rapid on and off of the voltage. So we get that 12 volts and we lose it then we get it then we lose it and it happens so fast that we can't see that the light is actually flickering. It appears to us that it's just dimmer than what it was before because it has a percentage of the time where it's actually not on. But again, it happens so fast your eyes can't see it. But the camera, it will know. It cannot operate if it's getting power and then it loses power. Every time it loses power, it's unable to send a signal. So that constant on and off interrupts it and it just makes our camera not work. Now there are adapters available that you can get here at e-trailer so that way you can kind of store that voltage to provide it a constant 12 volts um, all the time so that way it's able to operate. And it's a pretty easy inline component that you'll install. Um, so that way you can get everything running and operating here. All right, so we've gone ahead and hooked up our trailer to our truck here. We've plugged it all in. We've got our display mounted up here on the front windshield. We just use the adapters that it comes with to snap onto the back of the unit. And then the, uh, the small rubber pad that sticks to our windows on there. And so now we've got it mounted up, turned on our tail lights, and we're all paired up and we can see our image. So we're just going to do a little bit of driving around just to kind of see the image quality when we're driving. And then we're going to get this thing parked into a spot back there and we'll use our camera to help us back it up. All right, so we're just kind of driving by our test course. We're going to stay off of the uh, bumps portion of the course because uh, it's just going to make it difficult to hold the camera here. But we can see as we're driving, we get a decent image quality. There is a little bit of a skip to it. It's not real bad. Kind of makes me think of like a video game where you're getting uh, getting your less than 30 FPS, uh, maybe down in like the somewhere in like the 15 to 20 range. So it's not very smooth, um, but it's not terrible. This should definitely still work fine for being able to back up and use that for parking and whatnot. Um, I would say with the camera, with it being a little bit slower like this in its response and kind of its shakiness. Uh, you probably still want to turn your head if you're going to be merging lanes on the highway and stuff if you're using this to see if there's anybody you know around um, just because it's a little bit slower somebody's coming up real fast there's a chance you could see there and uh, due to the slight um, delay and uh, lower frame rate they could creep up on you and you might not see it in there you can also occasionally hear here we do get audio from our camera system as well which is very useful uh, audio will provide us a, a just another way for us to get um, our trailer parked to a real tight spot. Our camera is great for helping us back up, but we can't see down the sides of our trailer, so maybe we got an assistant back there who's also kind of keeping an eye on things for us. And if you're in the truck here and you got a big long trailer like this, they're yelling, there's a good chance you're just going to hear uh, like a Peanuts character. It's not really going to sound like much, just some warbles. So having a camera or having a microphone on our camera will allow them to, to talk naturally back there and it'll display through our screen here so we can hear what they're saying. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. We're swinging around a bunch of trailers that we've got here. And I'm just gonna get it lined up with uh, the location I wanna park it and we'll use our camera here to get it back into that spot. Just gotta get it kind of swung around, get us lined up a little bit. Right. All right, there's the spot that I want to go to, so let me just kind of get pulled up here. All right, and we plan on putting our trailer in the spot here next to the white homestead trailer. So that's, that's kind of our end goal here. All right, and we're getting it lined up in our spot here. 
Might need to pull forward just a hair. Looks like that trailer's a little bit crooked and we were trying to go in straight. So we're gonna, we're gonna go in just a hair crooked to match it. All right, well, we were able to get it back in our spot. I will say I still had to use my mirrors quite a bit on this, not being able to see on the sides. Um, really doesn't quite make it great for part, pulling into a parking spot like this. It did help me get myself lined up for the initial backup. I was able to easily turn, kind of get my trailer lined up, use this camera here to get me lined up, but then I still had to resort to the mirrors to make sure that we weren't going to uh, sideswipe any trailers. So it does help you out, but I would not rely on it completely. Um, I think this is a great camera for people that might be um, flat towing. This is where I see this being a really nice camera system. Um, unfortunately, this is for your trailer, but I there's probably RVs out there that are prepared for Voyager as well. And if you put this on the back of an RV, you'd be able to look at your flat toe setup as you're driving down the road. So it'd be real great for monitoring that. Um, this also could be useful for maybe like a security system on your camper, because since this is a wireless um, monitor screen here, if you were parked at your campsite, you could bring your monitor inside and plug it into your camper and you could use that to uh, monitor what's going on around your campsite. But as, for, as far as for just a backup camera for the trailer, um, it, it, again, it's useful, but it's not something that you can completely rely on. So we can go ahead and take a, a quick, quick look here at our display and some additional features it's got. Uh, and then we're going to get unhooked from this trailer and move on to our next job. You do have some options in the menu here, so you can change your brightness up or down as necessary to get the, uh, the best image quality. And you can also change the contrast so we can see we can bring that uh, color up or down as necessary there a little bit more color, a little bit less. Kind of find that sweet spot where you can see the best. Kind of change the hues a little bit there. Just some more uh, video features that you can scroll through to kind of get the best image quality. You also have the option to flip the uh, system. It's a little strange to me that it's an up and down flip. Uh, I guess if you have the camera mounted upside down for whatever reason or something, or your monitor was upside down for whatever reason, you can do this. More often on these cameras, you usually see the flip being more like a mirror setting, and we've got the mirror here. So this one's a little bit more useful in case uh, um, you find it more natural in backing up with it like this. You've got your auto power here, so it can turn itself down dimming, screensaver, so there's tons of stuff here that you can go through. You can do split channels because this does work with multiple uh, cameras that you can pair to it. And there is a trigger harness that you can purchase and plug into the back um, for triggering. And that's more used for the upgrades that you can use for the system. Uh, the one we installed here is just our monitor and our backup camera. But if we hit the select pair button here, the one we used to pair the camera, we can actually change it to a different channel. And you can have up to four channels on this. So you could potentially add side-mounted cameras um, and maybe like a door camera for a security camera uh, at your campsite putting it out because again you can pull this thing out and put it in your camper and get a real good view all the way around. Um, you can pair those additional cameras using the pair button up there. It's a similar process to how we paired this one. So if you need additional cameras, I'd check out here at eTrailer um, so you can get uh, all the cameras that you need. Again, if you're using this for backing up into tight spots, I would definitely recommend those side cameras because without it, you, you have to use your mirrors. And there's just some times where you got your truck turned a certain way to get that trailer turned the way you need it, that the mirror is not going to help you on the one side. It might help you on the other, but you know, usually you're going to have a lot of limitations. So that's where those side cameras are really beneficial. All right, we're going to begin our installation here at the back of the trailer. And the first thing we're going to do is just assess the trailer. This is what we want to see if we can. This is a plate that's made onto this trailer. This is going to indicate that it is prepared. It's got the prep package already installed for adding one of these Voyager cameras. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can still install one of these. The kit does come with the plug that goes in so you can wire it in. When you're wiring it in, Typically, you just it's just a powering ground on the back of that connector, and you usually just tap it right into your lights here, so that way when the running lights are turned on on your vehicle, it'll also power up our camera, and then it just transmits its video signal wirelessly through the antenna out there up to the monitor that you have in your vehicle. Now, this is this works on pretty much most of the vehicles out there. There are a few vehicles, um, some, some of the newer GMs that use a pulse with modulated circuit that aren't gonna put out a full 12 volts on their tail lights. Uh, it'll be a reduced voltage that may not be able to power this camera, but we do have an adapter cable here at eTrailer so you can get that full 12 volt power to power this camera up. 
So since ours has a prep package here, we can go ahead and get this installed by just removing these four screws here. We're gonna use a Phillips bit. Remove each one of these. All right, now we got our screws removed, our plate just pulls right off of there. And we can take our plate, just set that aside. Here we've got our plug for our camera that's installed. And if we look here at the back of our camera, we've got the mating connector here. So we got the female end over here and we got the male end right here. It even has the cutout around it here for the plate. So this is just simply gonna push right into place. And these screw holes here should line up with the screw holes from the cover that we had removed. And there we go. Got that plugged in there. And now we just need to reinstall our screws. And I'm not running them in real tight, just kind of until they, until they touch there. This whole assembly here is made of, uh, of plastic, so we don't want to run it down crazy tight. All right, now that we've got them all run down, we're ready to hop in our vehicle and plug in our monitor and see if we get signal here. Now remember, we are gonna have to turn on our tail lights in order to power these things up. So we've got our camera installed. We went ahead and plugged in our monitor. We just plugged into our test box here to power it up. And we can see here when you first turn it on, it's gonna bring you to the pairing screen and it's got instructions there on how to pair it. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the pair button for five seconds like it says. All right, we've entered pairing mode, and now we're gonna power up that camera by turning on our tail lights. We're using our test box here to supply the tail light power to our trailer. And there we go, we can see that our camera has now paired with our device. We can see behind us, and we've got a pretty nice clear picture here on this big screen. Very good color image, and it seems very smooth with the uh, people we've got walking around there behind it. And that completes our installation of Voyager's 2.0 backup camera system with monitor on our 2018 Coachman Apex.